Android emulators provide you with the flexibility to test your app on different types of devices without the need to buy them. In this video, I'm going to show you how to install and run your app on an Android emulator using Android Studio or VS Code. Also, at the end of the video, I will show you a pro tip to help you improve your debugging process. As explained in this video, to use the Android emulator, you need to first have a virtual device. To check that, in Android Studio, you can open the Device Manager by clicking this button. If this list is empty, that means you will need to create a virtual device. The same way, in Visual Studio Code, with the Flutter project open, go to the status bar at the bottom and click here. This will open a list of available devices and offline emulators. To keep this video short, I will not go over the process of creating new virtual devices, but you can watch this video where I show how to create a virtual device for your Android emulator from scratch. So if you see at least one virtual device, you're good to go. Now launch the emulator by clicking this button in Android Studio or by clicking directly on it in the list in VS Code. Now, there are two ways that you can install and run an app on the emulator. The first way is to use an already built APK. If you have the APK file for your app, you can open the location where the APK is saved on your hard drive, select the APK and drag and drop it on the emulator, just like that. If there is a prop asking you if you want to install this APK on the emulator, just select yes, and that's it. Now, you can open this app on this emulator and start running your tests. The second way, the most popular one, is to build your code and install a debugging APK directly to the currently selected emulator. With your Android app project open in Android Studio, you can come here and click the run icon. This will build your code and install a debugging APK on this emulator. For VS Code, you can hit F5 or go to the menu, run, then start debugging. Now your app is installed and running, you can use all those controls and even those advanced controls to test the different functionalities of your app. As I mentioned at the beginning of the video, there is a tool inside Android Studio that you can use to improve your debugging process. In Android Studio, go to the status bar and click Logcat. Another way to open it is from the menu by clicking View, Tool Windows, then Logcat. If you see a message asking you to switch to the new version of the Logcat, activate it. By default, Logcat displays the log messages for the apps running on a device. To show the logs for your current app, make sure that your device is selected here. Then input this package mine query in the filter field. You can also filter for your app package name. You can find your package name in the app build Gradle file. Note that even if you are using Visual Studio Code, you can still access your emulator's logs in Android Studio. This is because the Logcat tool is ready directly from the device. For more info on the Logcat tool, check the link in the description below. Now it is essential to create the right virtual devices to test your app. This is why I have created this video to show how to create and configure an emulator step by step. If you found this video helpful, please give us a like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.